Hey, follow the Robert from Gadget at thetechstop.net, the place where it's always time to get your geek on. We're here the first day of CES 2012, and that means we must be at Audio Technica. That's how we start. I'm here with Crystal Griffin from Audio Technica, and um, you got two turntables and a microphone. <laughs> I do. I've got a couple turntables over here to show you. What's going on? Okay, this is our new ATLP 1240 USB turntable. So, like the name says, it's a USB turntable. Nice. Okay. But really, this is constructed for professional DJ use. You can certainly buy it for your home use. It's going to be about retailing around $529.95. Um, but really what this is made for is DJ use. It's okay, got, wait, I gotta stop you there. Because yeah. that sounds like a lot of buzz, which I hear that now, professionally made for DJs, for, you know. Right. What does that mean? Uh, how would this compare to, say, a cheap $100 uh, DJ turntable I might buy off of eBay or from a discount retailer? Okay, a lot of the things that you see that are cheaper than these DJ turntables is you're gonna see plastic construction. This actually has a lot of metal parts. This has a multi-pole motor. This is a 16-pole motor. That means it has all of the things that are necessary in a motor so that you can scratch with it and do it effectively when you're on the DJ dance floor. It's got dual start-stop control. Uh, it's got pitch control. It's got 33, uh, 45, 78 use on it. Uh, it's got all of those big features. It also it has a metal plate actually in the bottom. The metal plate, what it does is it weights the turntable down right. so it stabilizes right. it. Um, it has adjustable feet, so you can adjust it so that you make sure that your turntable is level. You know, all of these little features all add up into professional DJ use. Right. I yeah. mean, just as you were talking there, it really sounds as if Audio Technica has sort of gone out to the street and said, okay, what do you need? What do you want? What are the problems that you have when, you know, you're at a gig and your turntable's skipping, or it's not heavy enough so that's bouncing around, and you've actually come up with engineering solutions for them? Absolutely. We don't let things leave unless the audio quality and the, the, the construction quality is top-notch, and that's exactly what we've tried to do. And and what's nice about this turntable is it's a classic DJ it turntable, is. you know? <laughs> it does I look mean, nice. <laughs> it's, it's, <laughs> it looks like I remember the old turntables looking like. Exactly. Yeah. exactly. And that was exactly what we're going for. I mean, it's got a little bit more more modern finish with the uh, with the gloss black that we've used here, um, but you know, uh, just a real nice classic turntable. No uh, fancy digital stuff except for the USB capability, obviously, which is kind of nice because if you want to record, you know, what you're doing, if you want to record your DJ set, you can do that easily into the USB port. So it's a really great feature to have on a USB turntable. Now, something I noticed is I don't. It doesn't look as if these turntables come with an integrated stylus. That's correct, yeah. Actually, what we've done is we've decided not to put a stylus or a cartridge on it whatsoever. Um, we know that there are a lot of DJs out there that have their preference. I, we're, we're not going to lie. We understand that maybe Audio Technica isn't always your preference, so we just wanted to make it easy for you to go out and pick whichever one you want. And you, we, we, we have a ton of different cartridges, nice. too. So, nice. you know, th you might have a preference, you know, of a 150 over a 50, you know, depending on what kind of AT cartridge you like. So, you might want to buy some something even just from Audio Technica that would be suitable, you know, Know, regardless anyway so we're letting you guys choose we're, we're giving you the freedom now if I had a musical soul I would be sold but for those who actually do want to check these out where should they go they should go to audiotechnica.com crystal thank you very much <laughs> thank you and you stay tuned because CES is just getting started I'm father Robert there's no uber geek without you